Hey, it's Carl. Welcome back to Art of Shred. Today we've got something pretty exciting. The Squire by Fender debut series Stratocaster. Seems to be an Amazon exclusive. There's no information on the Fender uh, website about it, the Squire website about it. And yeah, seems to be an Amazon exclusive, 120 bucks. So I don't usually do this on these first impressions unboxing videos, but I think you're probably going to want to pick up this guitar. I've been playing it since yesterday. It sounds really nice. It plays really well. It's specced out basically the same as the more expensive Squire models. 42 millimeters at the, at the width at the nut. It does have a plastic nut, which is the, the I think the biggest difference, the, the other models have synthetic bone. It doesn't have a skunk stripe like the other models, but, uh, and it's made in China, unlike the other models. I, I read a review that the neck is fat, but I measured the neck and it's the same thickness as a affinity or as my affinity. So I don't know what that's about, but it does not have a fat neck. It's really comfortable. The headstock's a little, little differently shaped, but in any case, for $120, this thing is a great value. Now, again, this isn't my review officially. Maybe things will change by the time I, I do that review, but it's a it's really nice guitar. I'll leave a Amazon affiliate link in the description if you want to support. I do want to point out one other thing. This has a unbranded neck plate, if that's important to you. The other ones have Squire neck plates. So yeah, back to the unboxing and first impressions. Comes with three months of Fender play, which basically they do with all of their guitars. But yeah, we're gonna check this out, see, uh, see what we're doing here. My speculation, of course, is that they are trying to compete with all the other Amazon budget brands and pretty smart i would say kind of going the opposite way of what epiphone's doing with uh you know ever increasing prices for the for their models but uh yeah let's check it out so first got to get this weirdly shaped it's really wide this weirdly this weirdly shaped amazon box open there's another box in there and uh, yeah, we'll take a look. So let's do that. From the Fender Warehouse in San Bernardino, California. So there it is. Typical Squire box. Nothing special there. Let's get this thing open. Let me adjust this angle a little bit. Ah, it doesn't matter. All right. First things first. Does come with a whammy bar. Does come with... An Allen wrench, truss rod Allen wrench, and a Allen wrench to adjust the saddles. So everything you need to do a basic setup there. The old, uh, or not the old, uh, the whatever. Welcome to Squire by Fender manual. And... Uh, So we're gonna expect, by the way, before I open this up, we're not gonna expect any oxidized frets or anything like that for obvious reasons. It has not been sitting in a warehouse long. So um, yeah, we'll see. Squire sometimes has some uh, bad quality control. And uh, yeah, we'll see. we'll see what it looks like for a $120 Squire. Let me get that off. I was hoping it might have like a quality control date or something. Okay, there it is. Let's get a close up of the headstock. Now, I already forgot, I read the description right before 
I filmed this, I started this unboxing. I think this is a poplar body. Maple neck, rosewood fretboard, or it's not rosewood, sorry, laurel fretboard. And obviously I, it comes in three colors. Obviously I got the two-tone burst. And uh, why? Well, Buddy Holly, of course. It's a matte finish, so it's not glossy. Three single coils, five-way switch, volume, two-tone controls. And honestly, it feels much like a, you know, a bullet or honestly, let's see, let's compare it to an affinity. Looks very, very similar. Obviously different headstock shape, um, but in any case, it's got a little bit of little bit of weight to it. It's like uh, between seven eight pounds, so cool. Um, but yeah, let's check these these frets real quick. And uh, happy to report. No sharp frets whatsoever. Feels nice and smooth there. The neck feels really nice and satiny, smooth. So that's all cool. And yeah, the frets are the frets are all clean as I suspected. Plastic nut, but looks look at like it's cut fine. Does have the cheap tuners. We'll see how long they hold in hold tune. Of course, if you want the full review, this is just a first impressions and unboxing. I'll do a little bit of sound with this overhead mic here. If you want the full review, subscribe to Riff City because, and subscribe to the YouTube channel too. Uh, I'm learning that YouTube sometimes doesn't send updates, uh, the notifications when a new video is posted. So that's becoming unreliable, unfortunately. But if you subscribe to Riff City, I'll let you know when I post the full review. And let's see, I do want to take this uh, this back plate off here to see if the the trim block is similarly thin to like the affinity. F from back here it looks the same. From back here it looks the same. So anyway, full review will will have more of that. But in any case. Uh, so far, happy to report, the debut series is a surprise. We need, we need to tune it up, check the high frets, check any buzz, and check the action. Got the wrong kind of cord for this. I got the right angle cord, but what can you do? I'm gonna adjust that angle. Anyway, full specs and um, all of that will be in the full review when I post that. Better demo will be in that full review as well. And weight, all that type of stuff will be in that full review. But so far, just it feels like a one of the other budget squires. So it's, uh, it's very, very interesting what they're doing here. All right, let's check this, uh, let's check this action right around two. So as far as that goes, looks good. Everything's aligned nicely. Um, yeah, sweet. Need to uh, check. Need to just check. Uh, all the frets, see if there's any buzz.
Yeah, no fret buzz. So uh, I don't want to say Squire hit it out of the park with this, but holy crap, Squire did good so far. Like for a first impressions on a $120 Squire, um, I'm really surprised. So um, yeah, everything, everything looks nice. Oh, there is some dirt on the fretboard there. Little whatever, doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised with this, uh, <clears throat> with this debut series. So. Yeah, uh, I, I'm impressed with this. So it is, you know, it is the th thinner body. So it's not like a real Strat, but uh, as far as everything else, so far, I'm really surprised by this thing. Made in China. Where was this? Where was the Finity made? Indonesia. So designed and backed by Fender, crafted in China. So. Um... <laughs> cool um, honestly I'm I'm a little speechless I don't have much to say I was expecting worse <laughs> so uh, yeah again I'll do a, a full review talking about uh, what I discover over the next while of playing it, as I always do, I play the guitars that I review for a bunch of hours before I make a review, just so I give them time to reveal their flaws, if any. But so far, I don't have anything really negative to say about that. Obviously, you know, the finish is not beautiful, but Really cool. I mean, you can't complain about a about a, a nice little burst there, but it does come in black and red if, if you prefer a solid color. Pickup sound fine. And uh, yeah, um, I really want to compare this right now to not the Affinity, not an Affinity, but a, but a Bullet or a Sonic, just to see like what what the deal is there. I really like this this affinity here, but um, for 120 bucks, this might be a better value, right? I mean, obviously I bought that for $80, so I bought it used, but uh, for a brand new guitar for, you know, beginners or modders, this is impressive. So that's what we got. Three ply pick guard, by the way. And uh, yeah, 
no frills, but uh, Squire is gonna compete with all those cheap Amazon brands with this. So uh, yeah, kudos to them. See you next time. <laughs>